final thoughts on the meet? I, I think our energy level needed to be, had we had our energy at the same spot as it was on that last relay in the 200 IM, I think we would have seen some better performances. We talk about just trying to create an atmosphere of, of energy within our team section that people can draw off of. And I, I thought we kind of fell short of that tonight, got it going there towards the end. Brennan had a great swim. I mean, he just crushed his time when he was shaved at Georgia. Crushed it. Um, I mean, he's guy can go. He can break 15 minutes. I really think at the end of the season, which would be unbelievable. Courtney going 51.5 in the 100 back. I mean, that's the first time I've ever seen a non-suited person break 52. I think in the 100 back. You know, Austin's 2 IM at the, at the end there was really solid. So there were certainly, you know, some solid performances not to be swept under the rug. Our target's our target, you know, and as a coaching staff and as a team, our call is to keep focused on that target, and that's ACC's and NCAA's, and whatever happens leading up to that, you just got to race, you just got to put max effort into everything you do. And so I think it'll give us, like, a little more fight the next couple weeks, just to, like, work hard and practice and just nail out a few of the issues that we had today, and I think we'll be, probably be better for it at the end of the season. Well, I think this is a blessing in disguise for our women as we move forward. I think this will fire them up quite a bit. It's not about the numbers, it's not about the points for me, it's more about the energy that we can generate and you know, how much pride we take in trying to inspire people on our team with better performances.